Hey guys, welcome back to Man's Videos. Uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing video for my uh, camouflage jigging, but before I get into that, just want to give you a little build update. I have started building the uh, Gray's ground type twin set. That is the Earth uh, Ground Forces kit, and um, right now that's what I've got done so far. Um, as I'm building it, uh, I find that it's really hard to control the stress marks for this kit. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is just the way the color is done. Um, and so even uh, as I'm trying to be careful uh, when removing uh, the nub marks, um, there are still stress marks here, as you can see. And that's a little bit frustrating. Same here with, with the skirt. Uh, because these are hard colors to match. Uh, and in my case, because I I don't break out my airbrush, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of having some frustration with that. Again, right here. Don't know if you can catch it because of the glare. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, I'm contemplating if I want to paint this dark one maroon or if I should just leave it for now. I'll finish the build first and then determine how it looks. Uh, maybe with some weathering. Uh, uh, I'm hoping with the weathering I might be able to hide it. So That's just where I'm at right now with this kit. I started this weekend and uh, because I'm taking a lot of time with the sanding and the cleaning, uh, it's just not going as fast as I hoped. Alright, so let's move on. To the un actual unboxing. Um, so this is gonna, this is a reshoot. Uh, I filmed the original video maybe two months ago, and uh, as I said, got some feedback about uh, opening the bags right up to the camera. Uh, normally I used to cut them, so maybe the noise wasn't as bit bad. But with these videos, I was actually tearing the bags open, so that created a lot of noise, and I apologize for that. So this is from uh, Gundam Unicorn. It's, uh, I believe, the type that guards the Earth Forces base, or the um, Anaheim Electronics Earth Forces base, and you really just see it standing around. It doesn't do anything other than stand around. Oh, oops, I totally forgot about these. Yikes. Uh, these are not part of the, um, the kit. These are water slide decals that I had purchased uh, these decals are the P, they're copies of the P Bandai um, GN Arms Real Type Premium Bandai set. Uh, it's the same as the GN Arms that you get from Double O Gundam, but it just has mark extra markings that you can put on the GN Arms. And because I have three GN Arms, I thought I'd buy two sets of decals to use on them. Yeah, that's what these were and just like put them in that box. So first thing we'll start off is with the um, camouflage decals being a camouflage chicken instead of coming the cats they're not it's not possible for them to uh, color separate the parts. It's an HG kit. So all of these are gonna be water slide decals. That could be quite painful to apply. Um, as you can see, there is tons of camouflage decals to apply on there. Um, a part of me, part of me, the one that's very optimistic, would like to go, hey, I can actually just tape, uh, cut pieces of tape out, mask the kit, and paint over it and create my own uh, camouflage jig and design. Uh, but at the same time, I, I really... I really don't know which would be more work. This is pretty close uh, with how much cutting and water slide uh, application. It's to me when I'm thinking about it, it's almost going to be just as much work as uh, masking and then painting. So, well, I mean, realistically, it's not, but it's just when I think about it, uh, it scares me. So these are uh, the, all the camouflage is water slide decals. Gonna have the two beam saber lengths 
Um, this actually is going to be almost identical to the Jagan Type D, the Echo OS Jagan, and uh, almost the same runners as the Ewok Jagan. We get the exact same runner E, and which is the over shoulder bazooka, the two antennas for the visor of the Echo OS Jagan, and then the alternate uh, Vulcan. Go into the runner A, which you're going to get your three hands, the Jagan rifle, top of the shield, thruster nozzles, feet, and then you do get again that same uh, Vulcan that was on the uh, previous runner E. This is a really nice color. Uh, this is a dark marine blue and uh, standard, standard gray. And this is not white. This is a very, very light gray. So that's pretty cool. That's not white. And then it comes with a red visor, which uh, the Equest Jigen came with this pink red visor. Standard Jigens are blue visors, and um, the uh, Ewax Jigen uh, is painted with a gold visor or gold paint. It didn't come with a clear visor. Uh, what makes this the premium Bandai kit is you get a different set of hands. Yeah. Uh, these are, I think these are Gabaldi hands, if not a Gabaldi, um, a Marasai, that's it. Because you get the Marasai rifle, and um, I don't think these parts are used because this is the um, HG Marasai um, runner because of the rifle. So you get an extra set of hands, they're Marasai hands, they're, as you can tell by the fingers, I don't know if you can see it clearly, let me actually zoom in. They're rounded fingers, not block and rectangular uh, like your traditional Earth Forces. I'm sorry, I'm just going to see if I can reposition the lights a little bit, or the table a little bit, and just shine the light differently. So, yeah. So this is what makes it the premium Bandai, um, because of the rifle. And the water slide stickles. Runner B. We actually get a different shade of gray. Uh, it's not your traditional. It's not your traditional traditional gray that they use for the runners. Uh, this does have a hint of purple to it, actually, and uh, that's what gives it the unique color um, for a Jagan kit. And so it is the the Jagan Type D. So you hear. You have the visors again, you get the chest armor, and um, that, yeah, that's the Jigen Type D gear. And then the Runner C, uh, just again, you're going to get some extra parts uh, that might be useless because of um, the, the extra heads and the uh, extra backpacks. Uh, it will be incomplete. So, um, yeah, you've got to come with two front crotch pieces. Uh, so, yeah, it's overall it's going to be pretty much the same as the Echo OS Jagan. And again, uh, the nice shade of grey that uh, does differ to differ from all the other uh, plastics. And then you have your two. D runners for the elbows, joints, and things like that. Your pie caps. Um, I tried, actually, I tried to scan and upload the color guide for the Ewok Jigen. Um, I'm not sure if my settings was changed. Uh, I wasn't able to just crop this part uh, like I did before, so I gotta try to remember. But uh, in the meantime, this is. I think it's better if I zoom in. The color guide uh, for this kit. I will eventually figure out how to, to crop and scan the proper amounts uh, so that it's legible and put it on the Facebook page. Uh, and the Facebook address is Team Chan Man Toys if you want to check us out and follow us there. Um, 
Yeah, I, I had some success before with a few of the kits where I was able to scan and just crop this out, but um, for now uh, I wasn't able to do that. So I will get that figured out. It is just your standard. Well, here we go. Uh, it's a standard Jagan. And uh, from this picture here, I don't know if you can see, uh, yeah, it just highlights where you need to apply the uh, water slides. And it's going to be a lot of work. So when I'm definitely going to matte spray this afterwards to uh, hopefully help the water decals stay on. I hate water slide decals. I, I don't know why I don't have a lot of luck with them. Um, at first I worried, oh, is it because some of the decals I buy are from China and they're knockoffs, they don't stick that well. Um, but with my Unicorn Gundam, wow, that was a big, um, miserable fail. The water slide decals, even by using Mark Setter, using um, different uh, adhesive and uh, decal softeners and stuff, it still didn't stick. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. But that's why, you know, in, in my mind, I, I was saying earlier, it's almost better for me to just mask and paint. But here it is, the Jiggin Type D camouflage version. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I will be continuing my best to reshoot uh, a lot of my unboxing videos just to uh, again avoid killing your ears with uh, bag opening noise and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to complete building and i'm able to find more time to build and that's it for this video oh actually no uh one last quick update i hope to be going down to my mailbox uh, this weekend as my premium, not my premium band, uh, my monthly Gunpla subscription has come in. Uh, it is for the month of June. I missed May and uh, I don't think I missed out on anything for me so that's uh, that's okay. I think it was a wing Gundam that I'm not a big fan of so uh, I don't know what June is so far. I haven't looked for anything online and I'm hoping I can pick it up tomorrow night. <clears throat> Uh, if it's busy, if sorry, if it's quiet and no one's there, I might actually just open the box and do an unboxing of uh, the mail call from the postal office that I pick things up from. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. See you again real soon.